Hello everyone, Joshua Myers here, and today I'm going to be re reviewing Steven Spielberg's Hook. Here's the thing, this is not the first time I've seen Hook. I've seen it several years ago or so. I don't know how long it was. Um, I still remember me being a, like, I don't know, maybe a, you know, early teens, you know, or a child. I think that was the last time I've seen Hook. And from what I remember, I really liked it back then. I recently bought it on DVD. I wanted to see if it was as good as I remembered it, since now I'm an adult, so, and I really love the movie, but I think it was, it's better than I remember it, actually. Um, yeah, this is another one where I'm not really going to talk about the story, because you guys probably have seen this movie at this point. And if you haven't, I definitely recommend checking it out on DVD. Walmart has it in the 375 bin, so. Um, definitely the Walmart I have has this movie in the 375 bin, so. Yeah. Again, I really loved this movie. I thought it was really good. All the actors, I think, did really good, especially Robin Williams. Which, throughout the movie, I will say, I was, had this sort of sadness, you know, I felt kind of sad, because it's like, knowing that the man has passed away, and is no longer with us, kind of made me teary-eyed throughout the movie. Kind of did. And I would like to say thank you to Robin Williams for just some of the great roles he's done, you know? And... Wherever you ended up, you know, I hope you end up in some place really nice, you know, like probably the best place you could ever think of. And, and yeah, um, we're all going to miss you. Rest in peace, buddy. Rest in peace. Okay, so... So yeah, anyway, I this movie actually, uh, this is one of those movies that actually re-watching it as an adult made me felt like a kid again. Like, which is something I feel like I've kind of forgotten how to do over time. Kind of like Robin Williams in this movie, so. Yeah, I think the film, also the film has a really good sense of fantasy and wonder. Uh, the music's pretty good. Um. Oh, the actor who plays Captain Hook is a really good Captain Hook. And one thing I will say is I, like, some people say they can't see, a. Uh, I don't know who the actress is who played Tinkerbell in this movie, but they, some people I heard can't see her portraying Tinkerbell. The one thing they gotta remember is, is that like, this is a film that takes place years after, you know, the original Peter Pan story. So maybe eventually Tinkerbell, you know, has lightened up and all that stuff and yeah, you know, so this is like a different Peter Pan, this is a different Tinkerbell. So, and I honestly liked it. I honestly liked their take on Tinkerbell as well as Peter Pan. Um, and me watching as an adult, I definitely related to all that stuff more so as an adult than I was as a kid. And, 
yeah, like I said, it was really good. Um, I will say there are some things, like, that are kind of put in the movie just to be magical, you know? Just to be mystical. For no reason, really. Um, like that scene where uh, Robin Williams as Peter Pan uh, goes overboard and he's, uh, he encounters free mermaids and they start kissing him and that, like, they never really explain what was that all about, like, like, were the mermaids giving him, like, air support by kissing him, or, I don't know, like, I just, I just felt like that was just a scene to, just to be magical and mystical, just for that purpose alone, and without really trying to affect the story. But yeah, it's a pretty magical scene, I would say. Um, but I felt like that scene could have been cut from the movie entirely and not, like, you wouldn't miss a thing. That's the only shot I could see from this movie that's like that. Other than that, it, there's times where it does take its time, like, takes it slow, you know. Um, I think it does really good character development. Um, I also like some of the Lost Boys too. They were pretty good. Um, yeah, I just really love this movie, actually. Like, what else can you say about Hook that hasn't already been said? With that in mind, I'm going to give Hook a 5 out of 5 stars. I think it's also another perfect movie, you know, honestly, like, like I only, like I said, I only had one did pick, that was it, the rest of it I think was really good, I still think it holds up to this day, and from what I remember, I think it's the best, uh, you know, live action ad adaptation of Peter Pan we got, from what I remember, haven't seen any of the other adaptations since, actually. I will say this, I never seen the Disney animated Peter Pan. Never. Guilty as charged on that one. <laughs> so yeah, um, that's it for this review. Uh, thank you guys for watching and see you next time.